Hello Influencers and welcome to another episode of Chats with Champions. I am here today with my man Elisha Hong. How you doing buddy? Pretty good, how are you man? Good, yeah. good, good. Thank All you right. for having me here. Man. Yeah, well it's it's really exciting having so you exciting, here man. Yeah. We're, uh, we're in Oman right. uh, and uh, we've just had a... Uh, been seeing a lot of Oman. It's, uh, it's yeah. been pretty awesome, right? And we're right here, you can pretty see the whole Oman. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, so we got a great view yeah. up here. And Elijah is uh, a funnel expert, a digital marketer. He makes technology simple, which is something that I love, obviously. Oh. And uh, he's he's uh, he's managed seven-figure businesses online. So and that must be awesome. I mean, uh, the the experience that you've done. Uh, so tell us a little bit more about some of your experience. Absolutely. So um, again, you know, uh, my name is Eli. Uh, Elijah. You can call me Eli. Okay. Yeah. Just just you know, just want to make that simple. Yeah. And essentially, I've worked with a lot of um, online businesses. Uh, yeah. Many of it uh, recurring actually every month. Yeah. And I realized that the secret to uh, generating income online is not by creating a lot of websites, but actually creating systems for one particular product. Okay. And then you go all in and launch it to make it successful. Okay. So there's a myth when you know a lot of people are like, hey, you know, you need to have a lot of websites. Yes. You yeah. need to have you know um, multiple streams of income. Yeah. Sometimes you know you just need to focus on one thing. Okay. And, and uh, it doesn't have to be really complicated. You know, it just has to be. You can even use a template. And yeah. you know, as long as you have a, the right market to message match, right, right. the right offer to the right target audience, and right. the right technology to just get it running automatically, right. and then you, there you go, you would have a seven-figure business. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think I, I speak to a lot of people, uh, coaches, therapists, uh, doing a lot of my training. Nice. And yeah. a lot of them have got the uh, the message, the market, uh, the but they. They struggle on the technology right, aspect, yes, right? Yes. So, what three tips would you have to someone that is starting out that feels, you know, that feels that they're not technical, but understands that they need to, they need to have it. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, the good, the good news is we are living in 2017. All right, and uh, exactly. we, we are using, you know, um, you know, WordPress. Right? WordPress is something that I use. And nowadays they come with uh, really useful plugins that are all what we call drag and drop themes. Yes. All right. And these plugins, uh, you just, it's just a matter of uh, activating, installing it exactly. very quickly. You know, all these templates just kind of load up. Yes. And one of the, 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 the plugins that I use, and I, in fact, I, I understand you use it too, yes, is yes. actually uh, Thrive Content Builder right? yes. by Thrive Themes. And I love using your, your themes because. Uh, not only you just pay once, you know, and you can just uh, install it very quickly. Uh, and mm. the templates are there, and it's conversion-based templates. Yes. All right. So drag and drop. It's like using Word document. Yes. All right. Yes. And then yes. just type your headline, put a video. It's like you know, really easy. Yeah. So that would be like the first uh, tip. The second tip is to not go and get so many tools out there. Right. You know, yeah. if you got Thrive, you don't want to go, you know, with other you know brands okay. yes, because yes. you know there's a learning curve to everything. Yes. And the, the, the myth is, you know, let me get all these tools. You know, it's like the gold mine rush where people are buying shovels. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Uh, the software companies are actually selling you shovels. Right? Yeah, yeah. So you don't need a bazillion shovels. Yeah. You just need one and go dig one. your own gold for that one. Uh, yes, all right? that's right. And I think finally, uh, it's just a matter of, um, you know, staying focused. Mm. You know, I say you know, F stands for uh, focus, O stands for on one yeah. course, right? Yeah. C course, uh, you until S success. So one of the analogies that I like to use when um, when uh, people come to me and they say that you know, uh, oh, I'm not technical, and I say, look, I, I'm not a magician, uh, and then I I show them a trick that I actually bought in a kid's store, right? right, right. Uh, it's it's a very simple trick. It's a it's a pen that has a attachable magnetic end right um, and and I say to them that I'm not a magician but
but I can do magic because I have I bought the right tools right. that do the work for me. That's right. And then I had someone that showed me how to do it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, I think that's a great analogy that you you could possibly use as well. I think uh, you you've used that in your uh, experience as well. And uh, honestly, my background is actually in film. Oh, All right. Wow. I'm, I'm a very artistically um, inclined person. That's and I was faced with a situation where I'm not a programmer. Yes. You know, I'm not a designer. Yeah. Nowhere near all that. So what what does a filmmaker have to do? You know, when when you want to build something online yeah. to generate income. Yeah. You know, that's for another story which we could do another interview. <laughs> we can do. But the one. idea is because you know I I was on a losing end if I didn't know how to program. So yes. I found all these tools out there that make things a lot simpler. So there's no excuse for anyone. Yeah. who want to get started, right? right. And, and that's the point I want to drive across is, you know, I'm not technical at all. I am not technical. Yeah. It's just that I acquired that over uh, a period of practice yes. and consistency. Yeah. All right? And, and it, it's, it's like going to your Gmail account, right? You, if you logged into your Gmail account a hundred times, you would know how to use your Gmail account. You know where the inbox is, you know where the compose is, stuff like that. It's the exactly. same thing. You just need to log in and get familiar with the tool. Right. Like if that. you know how to hold a shovel, you hold it one day. You might not, you know, really know how to hold it. Mm. But ten days, twenty days, thirty days, you'll be shoveling like a pro. So likewise, it's just like a dashboard, right? You get familiar with it, you know, drive it. Like, that's how right. I look at it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I you like, like that. that. Cool. That's very cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Eli, thank you very much for joining us today. This is uh, Eli and Munir coming at you from Oman. It's about sunset right now. We will catch you on a future video.